Hello and welcome to The Pound Trader. In this video, I will be sharing an analysis of the pound USD for the week of <laughs> the last week of May 2023. Welcome to the channel. So starting on the weekly here, um, I can see that we are retracing down back into this range that we had from the previous weeks. Um, if I put my Fibonacci retracement from the lowest swing point here to the highest swing point there, we can see that we do have um, the right now the price is at the 38, <clears throat> the 38.2 percent Fib level. Sorry. Um, maybe there might be some opportunity for it to come down to the golden zones here around the 50 or 61.8 but we will just wait and see because we do have some sort of reaction there. So I think that um, we might be still going down but we can see we're also um, about to approach the moving averages here. These points um, anytime price comes across the moving averages that tends to be a pretty strong reaction. So um, yeah, I guess we'll just have to wait a bit and just see, but I personally, I will just be um, checking out if there'll be any more sells to around this level here. But if there are also any buys, then it's just a matter of patience. So going to the daily time frame, I will um, move my moving averages now. So the daily time frame we hear yesterday on Monday 29th, 2023, we had this um, sort of indecision candle over here. I think that maybe we might retest and maybe come to this level over here, or we might just continue going down. Because if we check in the four hour now, we can see that we've been having a pretty, a pretty decent sort of trend towards the downside. Um, we've been making lower lows and lower highs. So you can see here lower high, lower high, and lower high over there. However, there's something interesting to note. We are still not pushing down. Yeah, and we can see this four hour candle almost wants to close above this trend line that we have in the one hour, which we will take a look at. So um, here we don't really have any candle that's to tell us we are selling because we can see here that we have an indecision candle here with equal sides of the wicks. So we'll just have to be patient. I don't think it's the right time to sell at this moment. We can see that the four hour is still creeping up towards the upside. Uh, maybe we can just take a look at the one hour so we can just get a little bit more into detail. So I have a lot of uh, support and resistance lines, but <laughs> it works for me. So with my strategy, I basically change um, support and resistance lines into a different color. So this here marks Monday's low and this here marks Tuesday, uh, Monday's high. And I also put um, trade separate, I mean, sorry, session separators just to let me know that this was Monday and this here is Tuesday 30th. Now we can see that um, we broke below yesterday's low here with this candle, but there is some bullish pressure towards the upside and we can see um, this trend line that I had over here. Um, it almost looks like um, uh, an, uh, uh, sorry, a symmetrical triangle, but I'm not sure. What do you guys think? Maybe you can um, let me know what you guys think because I was waiting for maybe a breakout on either side of the triangle, but I'm still not sure. But today, if I was looking for cells, I would be looking for something like this. So let me just show you. I'm still not in any trade yet, but because I see that we've made a, a lower low here, I would be waiting for a retest and maybe a candle here so I can take it towards the downside. But I'm still cautious because, you know, we have to see what happens because in the four hour, as we've just seen, it's really trying to close above this trend line over here. So this is the sort of position that I would have, maybe take it a bit lower, but uh, yeah, something like this, but I'll just have to wait and see if there's going to be a red candle that appears here. But if not, if we are like still continuing towards the upside, because this is a very strong wick, which indicates lot of, lots of um, bullish pressure, I am very hesitant on the sell, but here, um, technical analysis is always the best because you just wait and see what the candle has to say. 
All right, so yeah, and if I was looking for a buy, so that would be my sell. And if I was looking for a buy, I would probably wait to see if price can break above yesterday's high, which is this red line here, and maybe come for a retest before taking it up. So I'll just be observing this one today. Hopefully I can get something in the next hour or so, or if not, maybe we can see something during the overlap because I'm an intraday, intraday trader. So I try to see if I can get opportunities every day. Just one setup a day is good for me. So yeah, that's that's it. That's what I'll be looking for. Let's take um, a quick look at the USD dollar index. <clears throat> And we can see here that the dollar index, this is the four hour time frame, and we can see that we have been having a pretty clean uptrend, making high highs and high lows. Um, we can see here that it just broke above this level here. And also here, maybe I should move my resistance to somewhere there. We almost broke above it, but I don't know when I look at, <clears throat> oh, my voice. When I look at the daily time frame, I feel like it once it should probably come down for like a retest or something. I feel like this is really overextended. So I don't know if price wants to come back and retrace before going up or maybe it might just continue going up because I think in the weekly we have some sort of range. Let's just look at the weekly time frame. Yeah, we have this pattern over here. So I don't know if price wants to go back up here or maybe take a retest. Um, if I put my Fibonacci levels here, let's see. Yeah, you can see price is still going up. So there's a high possibility. Maybe it might come to this 78.6% <clears throat> Fib level or the 100% Fib level. So I'm not too sure, but it's always best to just stay with the trend. So if I was looking for buys on the dollar uh, basket, then that means I'm looking for sells on the pound. But yeah, just waiting for my setup over here just to see. We can see now it is 11 a.m. East African time. I am in Kenya. So yeah, I'll probably wait to see what this candle has to say. 59 more minutes till it closes and then I'll know if I'm selling. If I don't get a proper bearish engulfing here, then yeah, I might probably not take the sell. And also if we take our Fibonacci levels, you can see here that price just came into the golden zone over here. So I'm pretty curious to see if we can break this trend line of ours. So yeah, that's it for my analysis. Um, if you look at the news of Forex Factory, we have some USD news today at 5 p.m. East African time. On Wednesday, we also have some news at 5. On Thursday, lots of news here. And on Friday, we have NFP at 3.30 p.m. So stay on the lookout because sometimes um, when there's news, I tend to not trade or sometimes I close my trades prior to the news just to be safe. So that's my analysis for this week. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe to support the channel and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.